bread and honey? I'm not happy. I work a really hard job right now, okay? I work down at the oil fields. I work 14 hours a day, okay? At least, it's basically the same thing. Alright, I'm a busser at a restaurant. Pretty much the, sa the same exact thing. I decided to go check out an establishment that my good family members said, Hey, they got great food here. You gotta go. It's so good. They lied to me. And, and if any of my family seeing this, I want you to know, you lied to me. You lied to me, dirty liars. I went to Bread and Honey, and I love the name. I love the color scheme. It's black and yellow. It's so cool. It's like a bee. It's like a bee. It's cool. It's cozy. It's a bakery, and they have food. They have a lot of food. Um, I saw a couple different things. They got cold sandwiches. They got warm sandwiches. It's not my favorite thing in the world, but they had a barbecue chicken sandwich, which this video is not about the barbecue chicken sandwich. So I'll tell you, it was all right. It was pretty good. The bread was soggy, actually. Kind of, yeah, it was kind of soggy, and I got it with mac and cheese. Mac and cheese out of 10, it was like a five. It was like a cup of cooked pasta where they just dumped cheese in the cup. Like, just like melted cheese, like just like a glob yeah, right on top. And it was, it was fine. I ate it all. The fat ass I am. I ate. Look, the video's not about the sandwich and the mac and cheese. The video's about the baked goods. I got these baked goods because I want to build a little more of a flavor palette, right? I want to taste a bunch of different bakeries around my area. I want to see what tastes good what tastes bad and i happen to know from being a human being and tr putting my faith in food max one time ever that cinnamon rolls specifically are deceiving i feel like everyone's had a moment going to walmart going to food max there everyone's had their moment where they bought the cinnamon rolls because it comes in the big aluminum tray right it looks good you're you dirty dog you know it looks good you see those cinnamon rolls and you think, ah, I shouldn't. And you can actually hear the devil on your shoulder. He pops up and he goes, do it. You want the cinnamon rolls, my friend. Get the cinnamon rolls. So what do you do? You get the cinnamon rolls. Of course you do. You buy the fucking cinnamon rolls and you bring them home. Think, ah, oh, well, you know, my family will eat them. And you take it out of the pan, you put it on a plate, Everything lights up in front of you until you take that first bite, microwaved or not. You'd feel like you can't do it anymore. You take that first bite of that cinnamon roll, the first cinnamon roll that teaches you what life is a fucking about, okay? And you realize that not everything's fun and games. Not everybody's looking out for you. Not everybody wants to put out a good product. Some people in this world just want money. Some people just want fame. They want power. Horrible people. Regardless, Walmart did not deceive me today. In fact, they've never deceived me. Maybe the Walmart ones are gas. I don't know. Food Max ones are horrible, and I microwaved them, and they turned out to be like... If they were a two, they turned into a three. Okay? Bread and honey. Not a local bakery. I don't think it's local. I think it has a few chains. Um, Well-renowned, my family told me that they've got burritos there. I think an omelet. Um, they said the food's great. The food's great. They, they, you know, bakery. They make sandwiches. They make stuff like that. They make tortillas, probably. They, they make their bread. Um, it's fresh, you know, fresh bread. It's pretty cool. Sandwich was all right. I'm sure it had the fresh bread, but it tasted like soggy bread. It was fine. Um, I did also get a takeout, so there's that. Um, again, not judging the sandwich. Sandwich did no wrong by me. My tummy feels kind of great after half that sandwich. So, did nothing wrong by me. I'm not eating those french fries, though. I saw a picture of those french fries online, and I was like, fuck no. Those look like frenchfry.png. Jamie, put two of them up on screen, right? Put, put them up right here. Yep, french fries. I went to Bread and Honey. Um, I had to order it online because I didn't know what the establishment looked like. Since they had so much food, I thought it was just a bakery. Um, I thought maybe it's like a sit-down restaurant, so I wasn't going to 
I wasn't getting ready to go in there and like sit down by myself. I wanted to take it home, eat in private, destroy the cinnamon roll that I'm buying because I assumed, hey, this place is fucking well-renowned. It's great. I'll buy a cinnamon roll. It's going to be good. No picture online, by the way. I got two things. I, well, I got the sandwich, and then I got the cinnamon roll, and I got the, the strawberry and cheese danish. Now, if you live in California, you might be familiar with a place called Porto's. My family loves Porto's. They have a cheese danish there um, that we get every year make you want to cry dude they come like you have to make them yourself even they are so good those things are immaculate they with the crusted sugar on top with the pastry and the cheese in the middle it's not too big it's like maybe that big right it's not a huge thing but they're so good you end up eating like three of them or four of them man like i don't eat five of them I'm saying it like i don't eat five i eat five of them needless to say i've got a high fucking opinion of cheese danishes so i got one strawberry and cheese that sounded good and you know what the strawberry and cheese danish was all right okay yeah, i mean it was good i think if i had to go to bread and honey again like if i'm going with friends or something and i wanted to get something good i'd be open to getting it i think i would try something new but i would, I would get it you know it was all right it was good i bet it warm it's also probably really good obviously if this was the end of my adventure i wouldn't be sitting here rambling to you okay the cheese danish and the sandwich kind of the mac and cheese didn't betray me today what betrayed me is the cinnamon roll oh my god the cinnamon roll was not meant for human in consumption i have had a lot of cinnamon rolls in my day the living proof is right here, okay? I've had a lot of cinnamon rolls. I fucking love them. When you get that pastry, even like the Pillsbury ones, man, they're so good. I'm not, I'm just gonna say it. They're good. You take them, um, you get a good, like, let's say like a Cinnabon one, man. You tear into those. There's layers, okay? I'm a big fan of when you can make a cinnamon roll and that the, the layer is kind of open when baking it. So the, the frosting goes in between the layers. So it keeps everything a little moist in there because a cinnamon roll, fact number one of the day, cinnamon rolls have to be moist. They got to be moist. They can't, you can't have a dry cinnamon roll. A dry cinnamon roll pisses me the fuck off because then why is there frosting on top? Maybe you want some moisture, but who the fuck wants some moisture in their pastry? Have you ever had a dry cake? before would you like if your cake was so dry that you took a bite and went, mm, i need water i would fucking scream i'm a big fan of cinnabon i've had i think cinnabon's probably one of the better ones i've had other than my grandmother's cooking she makes a mean cinnamon roll but she doesn't live near me and doesn't sell them for like three dollars or whatever they are are they three dollars hang on cinnamon rolls Cinnamon rolls, three, bread and honey. I paid six dollars for that piece of shit? Oh, oh it's not a six dollar cinnamon roll. Fuck, oh, man. Oh, shit. Besides the point, the cinnamon roll deceived me. I'm gonna show you what it looks like right now, okay? And I want you to stay calm. Look at that. Huh? Don't mind the cheese danish. Remnants of a good... There. Holy shit. Look at how dry that son of a bitch is. That frosting right there, that's, that's hard. That's not gooey. I don't think it was ever gooey. I think it went on hard like that. The cinnamon roll was disappointing. That's the best way to put it, man. I was on vacation today, okay? I just, I was on vacation. My family called me, in fact, and they said, Jared, you gotta fly back in. You gotta fly back in from Tahiti because we found this place called Bread and Honey and you need to go get a cinnamon roll, okay? So I had to fly in. I canceled, I canceled my trip. I booked a flight. I got here as fast as possible. I couldn't even change. I couldn't even change, okay? I go into bread and honey and I get this cinnamon roll and you know, I think the cashier actually told me, here's your cinnamon roll, 
I hope you get in a car crash and die on the way home. She said that. I think she said that to me. I actually, I think I remember that now. Um, I think she did say that to me. The Danish was good. It didn't knock my socks off. It didn't even make me think, holy fuck, this is good. Now, there's a place where I live, really close by. They don't call it a cinnamon roll, they call it a sweet roll. And I don't know the difference of those quite yet. But what I do know is that the sweet roll at this restaurant near me is fucking killer. Jasper and I went together. We got a sweet roll. We sat down. We had some food too, and it wasn't even what we were going in for. We had our food, and we saw on the menu the word sweet roll. We were like, fuck, that sounds good. Let's share one. It was so good. I've thought about that sweet roll every day of my life since then. Every day. I thought of that sweet roll because of how fucking good it was. And what puzzles me is that a bakery, right? This place I went to with the sweet roll, it wasn't a bakery. It was just like a mom and pop place. They happened to have sweet rolls. Probably had a recipe from their great grandmammy that couldn't go to waste. Thank God. This place, bread and honey, they have the nerve to bake fresh ones of these every day. And they're garbage. Like, are you kidding me? Oh, how do you do that? I don't know if you saw from when I showed you that cinnamon roll had raisins in it. I'm gonna get a lot of flack for this, okay? Raisins don't belong in fucking cinnamon rolls. I think you can. I think if you live in a predominantly white community and you got a nice little bakery in the suburbs, you can throw some, some raisins in the cinnamon roll and call it healthy and people will be like, all right, I'll buy three because it's good for me. If I'm going to a bakery for a cinnamon roll the size of my face, you better keep raisins a fucking country away from my cinnamon roll. It was dry. It had raisins. I think it was made with like fucking wheat flour because the shit was so dry. If I were to take this cinnamon roll down here, mix it with some water, I could build a fucking wall out of it because it's so thick, it's so dense. I'd like to see a tank shoot at this fucking cinnamon roll wall I'm going to build and see if it fucking topples. I'm not normally an angry dude. I think it's fun getting mad like this about stupid things. I like being mad at stupid things. But this isn't stupid. This is a cinnamon roll. Then you fucked up, bread and honey. I'm gonna leave my email in the description below. All I'm saying is... I could forget about this. I could forget about the crimes you've committed, which I'm sure are war crimes, granted. For a measly $5,000. $5,000, that's all I need, bread and honey. I need this, bread and honey. I, uh... Really need the money. Probably a 4 out of 10.